would you like to say to like your critics? They're welcome to come to the microphone and say whatever they want to me, but they're intellectual cowards and they won't do that. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, we'll be reacting to Sudan Proposals Things What a Woman Is is Clickbait. Guys, let's get straight into this. Uh, my name is Trevor Baumgartner, and I work with the uh, Mustang News, which is like the media group on here. You can record me, obviously, yeah. Yeah, thank you. But I just wanted to kind of uh, talk about last December, TPUSA at Cal Poly, they had the detransitioners come here. Yeah, Cole, Chloe Cole, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a very, like, charged issue. And I just kind of wanted, and a lot of your critics, I was speaking with some people who are kind of against you coming here today. And they say that you come here, you're media trained, you've memorized all these talking points. And I just kind of wanted to question, like, are, are you truthfully, like, here to try to change people's minds? Or is there kind of a benefit to keeping people divided, like Fox is dividing, Turning Point's obviously taking one side, CNN, MSNBC, they're obviously taking one side. Is there, like, an agenda, or are you, I guess what, what I'm trying to ask is, are, do you think it's better for the country to be divided ideal, ideologically, or is it, like, preventing a more progressive debate? Well, I, I guess, how am I dividing people if I ask you, if you disagree, you come to the mic? How is that divisive? Well, no, I'm just saying it's like you, you, you have these like clickbaity titles. It says like, prove me wrong. What is a woman? You're dividing things very black and white. Like the immigration Wait, debate. Wait, what is a woman is not a clickbaity title. I think it is. What is a woman? I, I, I'm not trying to answer that. I'm, I'm trying, I'm no, I, sorry. I, I, I'm trying I, to stay, I'm trying I, to stay. I'm actually now I'm incredibly curious. What is a woman? It's a very simple question. Well, I could see how this would like get clickbaited. So I just, I'm just trying to stay like very bipartisan. But I, I just wanted to, like, ask you, like, why, why, why did you decide to come to Cal Poly? Why did you go on this campaign? Like, you're trying, do you try to, like, your critics are saying that you're trying to keep people divided. They're urging people not to come talk to you because you're going to spin it. What would you like to say to, like, your critics? They're welcome to come to the microphone and say whatever they want to me, but they're intellectual cowards and they won't do that. Yeah. yeah. I, I, okay, I, I look forward to when you go out there. I'd definitely like to follow you, okay. but... Yeah, I, I just wanted to, yeah, I guess. You know how we heal our divides? By talking to people we disagree with. I, I would agree with that. We will get closer to a civil war if we act like that. We just yell at people we don't like. You dress with, you know, all, you know, I guess I'm all, I'm all black, but, um, <laughs> you know, with masks on and just with stupid epitaphs. Okay, like that's how you get closer to dividing the country. You heal the country when you allow disagreement and you allow a microphone with people that have differing views. But I... But but I think when you come out and you like and you say like f like civil war and you use these like fear mongering words, I feel like you're definitely trying to like get people like riled up and that helps. I mean, it's 100 percent factual. We're close to a civil war in this country and I don't want that to happen. Yes. And people that act like that are going to further radicalize both sides and you de-radicalize a population through speech. I I. I I would say that conversation and media and like spreading the word definitely like like that's like how you bridge the gap. But like when you're talking about the immigration debate, you said if you are here illegally, then you should get deported. I feel like that is prohibit like stopping. That's a, a very more moderate view, by the way. I I, th I feel like that's stopping like a more progressive debate on how we could help solve the immigration crisis. And you solve the, it by deporting the criminals, <laughs> aka every single one that broke our laws to come here. Yeah. That's a very moderate position. But. Uh, I'm just saying, like, there's, there's, like, ideas out there that America is this free land, and if you come here, you make it rich. Like, there's a false narrative that's, like, going out, that's, like, causing people to come here illegally, and, like, they try to cross the Rio Grande, and they, unfortunately, like, a lot of times, like, if Border Patrol can't save them, then it stops them. So I think there's, there's a more progressive conversation I'm that I'm sure there's a more there, progressive but... way to look at it, yeah. No, but I'm... I'm, I'm not here to be progressive. Okay, well, all right, I'll, I'll let someone else come on, but thanks for your time. Okay, thanks, great. Guys, I don't really feel like a reporter should be actually ready to actually take down someone. Like, he will come with a more prepared question, and maybe he's he's not really a reporter or like he's in training and stuff like that. But I would say, I, I honestly believe that Charlie's can makes things black and white because things are. Because if you don't make things black and white, like, I really don't understand the reason why people are afraid now. Say what a woman is, or people are afraid to say that, like, that only like people are afraid to like call people on their original pronoun name. You start calling people they, I identify as they, them, bro. 
it's crazy like it's crazy that's why it is hard to come back to black and white but when you give room for this kind of thing you see a lot of rubbish online you see a lot of rubbish people like a woman who made a video recently saying her child at the price at the cat so she's taking her child to an animal doctor and i was like what the wait this is a human being that was mature enough to bring a child into this world and this person is just stupid because that like she's gonna sue that child is a cat she can't take him to the hospital like how does this make sense like I, I really don't believe that people are actually this stupid. How how does she have? Oh God! But well, guys, what do you think about this? Just like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.